Here's my video on NBC15. Couldn't download it, so I'm watching it. Food delivery business actually look forward to this type of weather. At Glass Nickel Pizza, for example, drivers expect to earn twice as much on a night like tonight compared to a typical Monday because so many of us are ordering in. The Atwood Avenue location has 14 drivers making deliveries tonight. That's four more than usual. But the cold does force them to take some extra precautions for their own safety and that of their cars. I parked it in the garage. I made sure my battery was in, in good shape. It's relatively new, so I didn't have a whole lot to prepare for this. And then I, I just made sure to dress appropriately, wear thermals, and uh, I, I have an emergency bag in the back of the car with you know, extra gloves and pants and socks and things in case the car breaks down and I have to sit and wait for a ride. Scott Perkins there also says he brings along a spare car key so he can lock his car while leaving it running when he goes up to people's doors. It's a lesson he learned the hard way this past September. That's when we last spoke to him. He was looking for his 2008 Dodge Caliber. It had been stolen by a group of teenagers while he was making a pizza delivery. Since then, it was found abandoned by East Town Mall. Uh, I got it back. It was damaged, so I had to pay a little bit out of pocket just to get it up and running again. But uh, I got my baby back. That's all that matters to me. Perkins says police haven't made any arrests in that case.